In this video lecture, we're going to discuss different state changes that could occur. So solids could convert into liquids, liquids could vice versa convert into solids. Solids can directly convert into gases and vice versa. Liquids can get converted into gases. So for example, if you have ice, ice can melt and it can change into liquid water. And liquid water can then boil and change into gaseous water vapors or steam. So different ele different elements, compounds, substances, they would have melting and boiling points, and they would change from solid to liquid to gas, etc., and vice versa. So I'm going to I'm going to discuss all the change uh, all the changes of state. So if you move from a solid to liquid, this would be called uh, this would be described as melting. So if a solid changes into liquid that's melting for example ice changing into liquid water that's melting vice versa if liquid changes into solid that is uh, freezing freezing is the term that would be used to describe this change of state similarly if you have liquids and the liquids turning into gas for example water boils and changes into steam so this change of state this would be described by boiling and remember evaporation the same thing happens but there's a slight difference between boiling and evaporation which we'll discuss later gases can vice versa change into liquids that is known as condensation so that is condensation and in some rare cases you can have solids directly changing into gas so if solids change directly into gas that is known as sublimi sublimation so that is known as sublimation and vice versa gas changing directly into a solid that is called deposition. So these, these are the different state changes that could occur and uh, uh, the symbols that I use for describing solids is a simple S in bracket would state that the substance is in solid state. For liquids, it's an L in brackets that is the state symbol for liquids. And for gases, it's going to be G in brackets. Another thing that needs to be uh, known as well is that whether energy is being gained or whether energy is being lost when a change of state occurs. So for example, if there's a solid and it is changing into liquid, then there would be a gain of energy. So I'm going to write... Um, melting would be plus e that means particles are gaining energy vice versa if a liquid is freezing into a solid then the particles are losing energy so so i'm going to write minus e to represent that that uh, they are losing energy similarly if a liquid is boiling and changing into gas so that would be that would be plus e energy would be gained by the particles vice versa if a gas is changing into a liquid and condensing that is going to be minus E, energy would be lost. Similarly, solids are changing into gas, that's also uh, particles are gaining energy, so that would be plus E. Deposition, where gases are changing into solids, that would be particles losing energy. Now, based on this diagram, uh, solids have the least amount of energy, so solids have the least energy the particles have the least amount of energy so they are held tightly together they can't move around they don't have a lot of energy and gases why uh, in respect to both solids and liquids have the most energy the particles are going to have the most uh, hi highest amount of energy liquids are the intermediate in are going to be in between the two so particles are going to gain energy in solids, they have the least amount of energy, and if they gain energy, they get converted into liquids. And if liquid particles gain even more energy, they become even more energetic, and they're going to change into gaseous state. 